Before I start the video, I just want to let you guys know I made a Discord server, link will be in the description, and I made a Feral account, my username is Sesame if anyone wants to play, and let's move on to the video. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make your small house into a beautiful den. So, first thing you're going to do is you're going to decide where are the entrance is for the den. So it could be like in the front where there's a scap here and you can walk through, or you could put it in the back and kind of make a nice entranceway. So for this den, I decided to make an entranceway. So I took two fences, these are the ones in store, and another fence here, and I just put a botanical archway, a mailbox, and the little Arabian statue thing, only a coat rack, so it's a nice little entranceway. And I also put the briar fence around it so it like enclosed this part and I think it looks really nice. So when you walk in, I don't really have like a living room, I kind of have like a living room slash dining room area because I couldn't fit both of them. So when you like make a small house, try to decide which three rooms because it could really only fit three. You're going to fit like beforehand so you don't start decorating there like I don't think this is a good spot. So here is living room slash dining room i use kind of like this diner sofa i don't know if it's still in stores but i have a lot of them and i just put tea set and i have like a fireplace here and i just i didn't know where to put the refrigerator so i just put it here really not the best spot but if if i take it out it looks too open so i just keep it there and here i don't i don't have a stove in this den because the blue would just like the igloo kitchenette it would stand out from the rest of like the red and like panel things so it wouldn't fit well so i just put this like chef table thing which works well also if you make it done it's best to stick to a color scheme because it would look more full and if it's like colors all around it doesn't look the best but it's all up to you if that's the fab you want to go for and then here's this kind of like a little counter area with a little fruit bowl it's a bat's fruit bowl and like a little stool just to sit there. So I guess there is an eating area here, but I don't know. It's there. So here is the bedroom, which I kind of made the statement of the den. So the bed, I just did mo two modular couches. I took like the big one and the other one and I connected them. And I put a safari rug and the Egyptian pillows on this side so it looks really pretty. Also, other alternatives you could use are striped couches. You could use sectional sofas you could you could like i've seen people use like a really nice bed with like writing desks or people put the porch swings on the walls and put a pillow in there it looks really nice also there's like you can make kind of like a loft type thing where there's like a wooden armor wall and you put rugs on top and kind of like a desk in the middle which looks really cute so it's all up to you so like right here is i put a vintage coffee table and i covered the coffee with a diary and a flower and at the end, I kind of wanted to put something here, so I put like a little lemonade and Jamalade gift, because I love my Jamalade gift. And this is just like a more storage, I guess, and it has like a lamp and a fan. And this is just like, I wanted to put the bookshelf here, but I also wanted to add the peacock mirror bed. So I put the peacock mirror, a candle, and hot cocoa here. Also, the, the uh, outside just as important as the inside when decorating a den. If you have like nothing in the outside, it's not going to look as good if you just have like a beautiful, more decorated den in every corner. So, since I'm already here, here's my little pet village. So I put in red pets that would match the den. So I just put sugar guys fruit bowl and then ponies hay, rooster ranch, and rooster roost, excuse me, and a cobra's flute so they can have a little place to stay i love these thatch huts because they just look so cute and it's like a little house for the pet and then here i just have a tiki table if you want to eat outside and over here i have a shop and since this is blocked off i kind of made like i put the honey badger's burrow like something could live there and here i have a lizard in the process of incubating so i just have a little owl plushie there and sometimes I like well usually I do this I would take like the big lizard so my original little Lizzie which is where is it where are you oh come on five who should I take out I'll take out you no not this uh, this is dragon fruit my biggest lizard I'll take out you dragon fruit my biggest lizard 
so I like to put it there. He's like watching the new, the new child's little kid or something. I don't know, <laughs> weird. And then here I made like a little place you could sit down. So I put just waterfall archways, a lodge hot spring, a wishing well, and two swings, which looks nice. And I just hid the pet station over here behind the tree. And over here I have a fire pit because I didn't know what to put there. So trees really make a like a den come together, so make sure you put a lot of those. And probably the biggest mistake I've noticed what people make when den decorating is they want to include everything in the small house. You want to have every part of a house, a bathroom, a, like a living room, a dining room, a kitchen, a bedroom. But there's only really like spots for two rooms and maybe a little thing in the middle. There's really not that much space. So make sure you plan, plan well. And also, these, there's a, I think they're coming back, paintings. If you put these in the back, they make it done so much look so much nicer. Or just windows. It, it, it just the the more things you put in the wall, the better. And just make sure you have some light in the den because it makes it seem more functional and have some some things that make it look like you actually live there or not. It's just like oh, it's a log cabin in the middle of nowhere. Well, if you're going for that, go for it. But I like to mine look at least a little functional. So, there you have it. Those are all my tips and tricks. I hope you guys find this useful. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!